Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to extract your data from a 96 micro L plate. Well, first you have this table in here. Uh, for example, you might find in the supplementary data, uh, in supplementary information in this manuscript, you might find an uh, image. It is a 96 micro L plate image. I am opened. Uh, I am open this image. You can see this image quite in here. Now you can see a uh, 96 micro L plate image. Uh, for example, uh, this plate image, the wells are separated like this. In here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A, B, C, D. Uh, in these two wells, we place the blank solutions and in here two. Uh, in these wells, here and here we have the first standard, the second standard, the third standard. Samples were placed along these wells, as you can see in here. So the samples were placed in here at this region, and your standard solutions that you use to do your standard calibration plot, you have to place them in here. Here, at these lines, here at these lines, you have the blank and standard solutions that you use to do your standard calibration plot. Well, you have to take the G values, the green values. You have to take the green values from all these wells. Uh, I will. I have talked a lot about it. When I begin this kind of work in almost five years ago, five years ago, we have begun to work with this. Uh, we could ever, ever, well, we have, we do in a software cuts of ash well, and then we process this, this cuts using uh, some, some software like MATLAB, R project, uh, Pantom. Uh, it is very complicated and it also takes a lot of time. Uh, you can do this. You, you can take the G values from all these wells in a very simple manner. And it is extremely easy and simple. I'm going to show you how to do it. Well, for example, I have to I have uh, saved the, the spirit suite that we are going to use and the display the image. Uh, in my desktop, uh, quite in here, Speed Suites. Uh, in the support information of my manuscript, there is this, this, uh, this file in a zipped file. You just need to uncompact this, this past, this data, and uh, extract, this, extract this suite to here. Well, uh, you need image J to do it. It is very simple to install. You can get image J uh, and use it within, without no charges. Uh, image J uh, image J is a uh, freeware, and I'm going to show you how this work. You are going quite quite in here to image J. You just need to open image jot. Right in here, you, you click File, Open. Now we are going to open your plot, uh, 96 micro L plate image. I have taken this picture. I have saved this picture at my desktop. We are going to, for desktop. Uh, in Portuguese is área de trabalho. Uh, now I am going to the the 
the data, I'm going to open this. I'm going to open my pl plate image. Uh, I click in the first well of my 96 micro L plate, and I see the position of the of the of this well. Uh, quite in here, I see the position of this well. Look, uh, you can take note of the position of the first well. Uh, I'm going to to take note using a piece of paper and a pencil, and I will take note of the position of the last well in my image. Uh, I can see quite in here the values of my the positions of my plate image. I am taking the coordinates of the first well and of the last well in my plate image. You can see quite in here, for example, uh, you have the you have it, uh, image in a plan, you have the, the axis. When I put my mouse in this well, I see the position in the axis of this point. It is shown quite in here. The same thing happens for this well. As you can see, it's quite in here. Now I'm going to take the G values of all these this plates, these wells, at the same time. I'm going here, plugins. Uh, I have put this, this path in here, but you can do it too for going to. Analyze grid plate. You can come into here. You click in plugins, analyze grid plate. Uh, in here, you have detailed information how you can do it. Uh, I, I can extract green, blue, red, and gray values. I am going to green values. I click in here. Uh, I it was already selected for a 986 micro L plate. I, the only thing that are going to change is the position of my plates. For example, I have taken note uh, the positions were for the first well, A1, it was these values. And for the last well, that is A12, right in here, it was 26, 72. I click right in here. I have extracted the G values of desire. Uh, now I just need to copy this data. I am just copying this data. Uh, I have to organize this data to obtain my standard calibration plot and to do my calculations. I go to the to this to this paste. Uh, and in here, you have a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet that you can use to organize your data. I am opening the Microsoft Excel. In here, I've been going and load my data. Uh, in my case, uh, my Microsoft Excel was in the Portuguese configuration. That is the something that uh, it was in some European countries. Uh, in, in Brazil, for example, use comma. United States use point. Uh, my Microsoft Excel was in the Brazilian configuration. Thus, if I put points, uh, Microsoft uh, Excel don't, does not understand that I have a number. OK? Uh, I have to go in here uh, and substitute points by comma. I will take in here. I will substitute points by comma. If you Microsoft Excel already is in the North American configuration, 
uh, you might do it directly. So oh, I'm going here. I am substituting uh, points by comma. Oh, it not happens. We go again. Uh, we're going to substitute points by comma. Well, well done. I'm going to here. I copy and paste quite in here. I am pasting quite in here. Uh, you can see now that the points, the wells that I have my extender curve were placed in here. The wells that I have my blank and my standard curve were placed quite in here. Uh, I have the average values of the green values for my blank and for ash extender. For example, you can see that is the it is the green value right in here. We have the green values for my blank samples. Uh, in here, we have my green values for my standards. I take the average values and I use this formula to transform G values and my response signal. You can see the, the, the formula quite in here. I just taking the average values of my standards and divide it for the blank. I take the log function. Uh, quite it is done in spectroscopy, where we do trans, uh, absorbance like log of transmittance. Uh, quite in here, I have the concentration of my standard solutions. Uh, for example, I have prepared uh, 5,000 milligrams uh, sodium, nitri uh, sodium nitrate solution. I have done uh, 5,000 uh, 5, sodium nitrate solution. I am going to convert. Uh, I have this, uh, this stock solution, and I prepare a working solution. It is a working solution of this concentration for nitrate. Uh, I, I place in, I, I am preparing my standards. I have taken these volumes of my work solution and prepared my standards that I use to build my standard curve. Uh, quite in here, where I calculated the concentration, my work solution, uh, multiplied by the volume of the working solution, divided by sample dilution, that is one ml, that I use just one milliliter. Uh, in here, I have my concentrations and my responses. Now I can do the standard calibration plot easily. Uh, my, th this file that I sent for you, uh, you can see you when you load the data quite in here, you just see the standard curve quite in here. OK, uh, the green values of my samples were placed quite in here. The green values of my samples were placed quite in here. These values are the green values of these wells. OK, uh, now I change these green values in analytical signal exactly I have done as I have done for my standard solutions. I use my standard calibration plot. Look, quite in here, using uh, the Microsoft Excel function Linest, I have obtained my standard curve. Now, I use my standard curve to calculate the concentration of my samples. Uh, in here, I have green values of my samples. In here, I have changed my green values in analytical signal. And in here, using the standard curve, I have calculated the concentration of my samples. Right in here, I have my average values, uh, my standard deviation, and my relative standard deviation for ash sample. Uh, right in here, I have the concentration of my solutions. Uh, when I prepared the, these are sausage samples that I have extracted and determined the nitrate concentration using the grass aside. Uh, what I have done, I, I place these eight of sausages uh, in a backer. I have added 100 milliliters of water, the water. Then I have added borax. 
Iron Cyanid, Iron Chu Cyanid, and Zinc, zinc Sulfate. I have, it, I have a final volume of. Um, this is the, follow, the final volume of my samples. Uh, thus, I have a convert. I have, I take my, I have, I take my concentrate in micromol per liter, and multiply it by my final sample volume. I have the amount of moles that I get at each sample. Now I multiply, I divided by the sample mass, and I have my concentration in micromol per gram. I multiplied it by 1,000 and divided by molecular weight, and I have my, con my concentrations. I have the concentrations of my samples quite in here. It is the, con it is the nitrite concentration in my samples. It was expressed as, as milligram per kilogram, okay? Uh, in here, I place the samples, the mass of my samples, uh, the nitrite molecular eight, and the final volume of my solution. And the concentra nitrite concentration in my sausage samples are calculated quite in here. I have done ash sausage sample six times, until, so I have ash sample in here okay i am showing you how you can use image j to extract green values and how you use microsoft excel to obtain your standard calibration plots and how you can use this microsoft excel to calculate the nitrite concentration in your samples uh you believe that you might simple cam and extract ash green value of the well, but it's a very tedious work. It takes a lot of time. It is very, uh, it's very boring and very time consuming. Okay. Now I have in a simple step taking all the green values of my micro well plate. I have inserted the green values, the average green values quite in here and my Microsoft Excel spread suite have organized my data, have built my standard calibration plot, and it also calculated the nitrate concentration in my sausage samples. I expect that you like. Uh, I'd like to thank the American Chemical Society and the Journal of Chemical Education for all the support and attention that I get with my publications. Thank you very much for your attention and I expect that you enjoy.